It's my grandma's birthday tomorrow. I wonder what I could prepare for her. Maybe I will remind her of the trip to Italy and I will make some Italian food. I think tiramisu will be perfect. Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to prepare traditional Italian dessert. It's easy to make and it's suitable for many events like someone's birthday or a meeting with friends. Tiramisu is the ultimate Italian sweet treat. To prepare tiramisu we need 500 grams of mascarpone cheese, 300 grams of strong brewed coffee, 300 grams of lady fingers, 4 fresh eggs, 100 grams of sugar and unsweetened cocoa powder to taste for the surface. I start by carefully separating the egg whites from the yolks. Now I whip the egg yolks with a half mixer, pouring in only half of the sugar. As soon as the mixture has become clear and furthy, while the mixer is still running, I add mascarpone cheese little by little. When all the cheese is incorporated, we'll have obtained a thick and compact cream. I set it aside. I clean the mixer attachments, beat the egg whites and pour in the remaining sugar a little at a time. I whisk them into stiff picks. You know it's ready if the mixture doesn't move when you overturn the bowl. I take a spoonful of egg whites, pour it into the bowl with egg yolks, stir vigorously to thin the mixture, then proceed to add the remaining egg whites little by little, stirring very gently from bottom to top. Once ready, I place a generous spoonful of cream on the bottom of a baking pan and spread it evenly. Then I soak the lady fingers for a few moments in the cold coffee. You can sweeten it to your liking. First on one side and then the other one. I arranged the soaked lady fingers on top of the cream, side by side, to create the first layer. I spread part of the mascarpone cheese cream over it. You should make sure to level it carefully so that the surface remains smooth. I continue to arrange the coffee soaked lady fingers, then I add another layer of cream. I level the surface and sprinkle it with unsweetened cocoa powder. I allow it to set in the fridge. After a couple of hours, tiramisu is ready to be enjoyed. As you can see, tiramisu is delicious and quick to make, so I encourage you to try it. I hope you have enjoyed the recipe and it has inspired you to prepare it. Thanks for watching.